All right, here we go. Let's do the designer challenge. So this was uh, put out by Matt Newman, who used to work on Lord of the Rings exclusively, and then he is now switched over to Arkham Horror and does an amazing job with Arkham Horror, and he did an amazing job with Lord of the Rings. And if you've listened to our podcast or heard Caleb talk, uh, Matt is still involved in kind of a consultant role where Caleb will bounce ideas off of him. So Matt, uh, on behalf of the community, we really appreciate what you did for the game and what you're currently doing for the game, including this. Uh, This was put out November 9th. Uh, So what he did is he wanted to make a thematic deck to basically tackle the first three chapters of the Fellowship of the Ring. So he created this deck. It's 75 cards, I think. It's ridiculous. It's huge. Um, But he has lots and lots of card draw, he says. I haven't played it yet. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, He has a couple additional rules. So I'm going to go through those right now. Uh, We're going to play the Shadow of the Past scenario. We're going to use campaign mode. Um, Two heroes are not going to be in play at the start of the game. Mary and Fatty. And they're going to join us at a shortcut to Mushrooms. That's when Mary shows up. And then he's having fair... um, Fatty join us at Escape to Buckland. Uh, let's see. Frodo's Fellowship resources can be used to pay for cards of any sphere. Now, normally, Fellowship resources can only pay for Fellowship cards and neutral cards, but he's letting us pay for all of the cards with the Fellowship resources. So I'm going to be putting Resourceful on Frodo, hopefully. And then Gildor's Council normally lets you reduce... The number of cards revealed in the encounter phase to a minimum of one but he's letting it go down to a minimum of zero because in solo this card is kind of useless um i have the deck here uh thank you joe for putting this deck on rings db so he's created the deck uh here's resourceful i'm hoping to get that out on turn one that lets me collect an additional resource so that's going to go on frodo uh good meal is good it reduces the cost to play these events like Gildor's Council, which costs three. Uh, So it'd be nice to only pay one. And then, like I said, we're only going to... I'm sorry, we are going to not reveal a card, basically, because it says reveal one less to a minimum of one. But um, Matt said we can make a change there. Uh, We got a few allies. They're all kind of hobbity. Noldor. So we'll see. We'll see. I've heard that this is uh, this is pretty hard. He says it's not a very powerful deck, and glancing at the deck list, I would agree. This is not a strong combat deck. This is very much a um, you got to build up your board before you're going to tackle anything nasty. So let's get to the game. All right. So here we go. I already loaded up the game. Uh, I'm going to be taking them. Um, this I'm, I'm not counting this as my opening hand because I had to load up everything. But basically, we're playing campaign mode, so we attach Mr. Underhill to the ring bearer, and we put Gandalf's Delay in the staging area, and then I shuffled in a Gildor and Glorian card, and the ring draws them. Mr. Underhill basically is faint. I get to one time faint an enemy, until the end of the round, that enemy can't attack me. We're supposed to use Black Rider's Frodo, so I can spend one of his resources and I can cancel the effects of an encounter card just revealed from the encounter deck, I shuffle that card back into the encounter deck, and I reveal another card. Exhausting the one ring can be dangerous. Um, Sometimes there's cards that say, if the one ring is exhausted, do this terrible thing. Uh, We're supposed to start with a black rider in play. And a black rider has a hide two on it. And what this hide two means is we're going to have to make hide tests throughout this scenario and that's supposed to represent the hobbit sneaking through um sneaking through the shire trying to avoid the black rider so what happens is if a card is revealed that has a hide keyword i exhaust characters and i tally their willpower and then i discard the number of cards represented by the hide so in this case i would discard two and then if the threat of the cards that I discard is less than the willpower I committed, I pass the high test. So I gotta commit equal to or more willpower. 
um, than the threat. There is an action window, so after I exhaust characters to the hide tests, if I have ways of boosting the willpower, I can. There is a there is an action window, so we'll see if that comes into play. All right, so I'm going to have my. This is going to be my first hand here. I'm looking for resourceful. See, this is not a good hand because it's it's all um, spirit cards, and actually Mary is not in play. A minute. Uh, so the other thing he said is we're supposed to start our threat based on our starting heroes. And when calculating your starting threat, do not count the threat values of Fatty or Mary. So your starting threat should be 14. So 8 plus 6 is 14. After losing four times in a row, usually because of failed hide tests, which caused Nazgul's to attack me with nobody ready, I decide I'm going to try to engage this Nazgul as soon as possible, getting the threat out of the staging area, but I need to have a way to defend it reliably. I still am not sure how you beat this thing. We'll try that. Do I like this hand? I get a free ally. Um, I can play an event for cheap. Um, that's not really a good hand. That's good. I like seeing that and that. Okay. Is this immune? No. Okay, good. All right. And piece of thought to draw a bunch of cards. Okie dokie. So we're going to play Ancient Mathem. And hopefully I don't have to cancel anything. We're going to put a fast hitch on Sam. You know what? I'm going to move. All right. Let's spread out. Spread out, guys. All right. Fast hitch on Sam. All right. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, peril. Uh, that means if there was more than one player, the each person reveals a card in turn order, and you only the person who revealed the card can deal with this. Search the encounter deck, a discard pile for a Nazgul. Either add it to the staging area or put it in play, engaged with the first player. So basically, I'm adding a Nazgul. Do clear that. You know what? Screw it. Let's just try it. Let's just play it out. You never know. I feel like this is bad, but I'm going to put it in play engage with me. That'll boost Sam. So he's now one, two, three, four. Like that. Um, the hide doesn't trigger. There's no hide test being done because it says um, put it into play slash add it instead of reveal it. Um, Pippin draws me a card. I quested for seven against four. I make three progress. That goes away. I'm basically drawing six cards. Three for Ancient Mathem and three for Bag End. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I am going to do Mr. Underhill and he cannot attack me oh that's good to see go away okay good deal i don't know how i'm handling this guy next turn but good deal so i have a chump guy he oh wait i'm at 20 oh i forgot to set my threat to i forgot to drop my threat at the beginning of this i was gonna say how the heck am i out of secrecy already I am going to be placing two resourcefuls, like so. I will put a hobbit cloak on Sam. After much debate, I decide to put the hobbit pony on Pippin. That way I can send Sam to the quest and Pippin, if needed, trying to avoid placing the one progress to advance the quest. And that lets me commit him after I reveal the card. I'm going to send Sam for three. Uh, okay, we're up against two. Six. So I'll do five against six, fail by one, raise my threat. I'm fine with that. 
Uh, what's this bird doing? While it's engaged with a player, that player adds one to the hide value for each hide test he makes. Okay. That's fun. After debating if I should engage the crow and trying to figure out how the heck I'm going to handle this Nazgul attack, I finally just decide to let Sam defend. I'm worried I'm going to die in future rounds. Okay. I guess Sam will defend three against five. Okay, he takes two damage. I really need to get some healing. Right there. And then I will attack back for two! Oh, that does nothing. Alright. Alright, Kenai Took. Frodo gets two more resources. I guess I'll just... I gotta put bodies on the table. And Chump. Okay, I'm up against six. One, two, three... Four, five. Let's see what happens. Oh, man. All right. Five against nine. I have a big debate if I should send Pippin or if I should use Schroeder's Intuition or a combination of both, trying to avoid that one progress. So, even with Pippin, I'm losing by two. If I do Schroeder's Intuition, I win by one, which is bad. If I don't send Pippin and I do Frodo's Intuition, I still lose by two, which is bad. All right, so I guess I'm losing by two. Two, okay. Uh, at least I can travel. I make a hide one test to travel here. I'll do that. Uh, Sam's gonna do it along with Pippin, so that's five. All right. So I pass that hide test. I didn't want to have that in the staging area. All right, so he's going to attack, and sorry, keen-eyed Took, but you are not very keen-eyed. All right, so he is very dead. And I'll attack back for one. This this is this is a losing this is a losing battle here, guys. Um, I mean, <laughs> I have peace and thought, but. I kind of need people ready to do stuff, don't I? But I will play Peace and Thought. So I'm going to do Sam and Pippin. Exhaust two heroes, spend a resource, draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five. I'm glad to see that fast hitch. All right. I oh, mean, oh, okay, that, that worked out nice. I guess you just have to get all the cards in your hand. All right, so the Hobbit Pipe is being slapped down. Um, fast Hitch. We'll ready Sam. I'm going to play Rosie. He has one resource. And then Frodo will spend the other. This Fast Hitch will go on Rosie, so she can do her boost twice. Frodo gets two more resources. Hope so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play Frodo's Intuition. And I am going to boost everybody's willpower by one and draw three cards. One, two, three. Dang it. I was really hoping for a pipe. I could play this. What's this one do? Each enemy engage a few with an engagement cost higher than your threat gets minus one stuff. Oh. Okay, oh, it's free. Okay, so I can't send Sam on the quest. I hope I didn't waste this Frodo's intuition, but I was really trying to kind of have a power turn. I decide to play Gildor's Council, so I know I need to quest for nine, but I still have to be able to defend the Nazgul engage with me, and I'm trying to figure out what to do with this crow. I will send one, two, three, seven, nine against six, like that, and clear this. Okay, that goes away. But I think I'm going to engage the crow. That ready Sam and boosts him. Draws me a card from Pippin. Ah, nice! Good meal! Okay. 
Okay, good. Do it. Sam is defending for four. He's defending for one, two, plus this is three, four. And then Rosie boosts him five, six. Six against five. And if I need to, I can play this and drop him down even one more. But I don't need to. Okay, so he handles that. Um, and then he's going to defend against the crow. Return. God dang it. All right, return enemy to the staging area. I keep trying to get threat out of there. All right, that was something. I feel like I, I did something. What's this? Choose a Hobbit character. That character gets plus two everything. All right, that's nice. So that goes there. Frodo got his three resources. I guess I try to push through at this point. But I'm, I, oh man, I know when I advance to stage two, it gets bad. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do five against six. I have, I have an idea. Five against six. All right, I revealed two. So I'm five against six. I can boost it by two, right? No, I'm not up against six. Five against eight. So if I send Pippin, I'm seven against eight, which is okay. But I think I just try to push through and see what happens. So let's just call this the, the final uh, attempt at this. So I'm going to push through uh, nine against eight. I make the one progress and we advance. What happens? Probably something good. Okay, we got a lot of awesome flavor text. And then it says, when revealed, the first player searches the encounter deck discard pile for a black rider and reveals it. Okay, that's fun. Let's get the third black rider out. Wow, the next two cards were black riders. Okay, that's scary. I reveal it. When a player makes a hide test, add one to the total threat for each ally that player controls. You know what? I'm kind of happy this evil crow went away. Because he actually uh, would have hurt me. Ah oh, yeah, secret paths also would have been an option. You're right. So I take some time figuring out how to handle this hide test. I start with two threat because I have two allies. And then Dennison reminds me that I should be adding Mary to the game. Which increases my threat by six. Then I change who I'm committing to the hide test. Okay, so I'm sending, f I'm sending five to the hide test. That's right, Mary. Woohoo! All right. I'm sending five to the hide test, and I can boost it here and here. So let's see. Hide two. Oh, boy. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the hide test is seven, and I sent five. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. She's going to boost it. So that equals, and I pass. And Dennison once again comes to the rescue, reminding me that I should have drawn three cards when Mary entered play. Thank you, Dennison. Oh, look at that. Put Mary into play, raise your threat by six, and draw three cards. What happens when I put Fatty in play? Raise your threat by seven and draw three cards. Oh, that's neat. One, two, three. Well, I have all three copies of this card. I guess that's good. That's good. Thanks, Dennison. So I added Rosie and it's seven against seven. So I passed that. So now we have two black riders, a crow, the Green Hill Country, which is an amazing location to travel to right now because it helps me in these hide tests uh, so he is going to attack this Rivendell scout please don't make an additional attack please don't make an additional attack return attacking enemy to the staging area is that the only shadow is it really the only shadow I can reveal All right. 
okay. I mean, we're at stage two. I gotta make 14 progress and there's 14 threat. He wouldn't have engaged me, right? No, he wouldn't have, okay. Pippin boosted him. All right, so I basically can engage enemies and then plop them back into the staging area. I can make enemies easier to deal with. I can boost my hobbits. After Farmer Maggot enters play, deal one damage to an enemy engaged with you. Two, if the enemy's engagement cost is higher than your threat. Well, that, that, that'd be something. Uh, okay, so good meal. We'll go on Frodo. What do we got here? Two of those, two of those. I have lots of resources. I just, I'm, I wish I had more pipes. Yeah. Let's just commit to the quest. And just, just try to pound out some willpower here. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, look at me, pound out the willpower. I'm not even close. Uh, okay, nine. Maybe I just gotta put him in play because nine isn't gonna cut it. I'm never gonna be able to kill any of these guys. Who am I kidding? All right, Farmer Maggot's coming in. That's 10. Uh, all right, the Woody End. Uh, that's actually pretty good. When Woody End is the active location, reduce the hide X value by one. I only revealed one threat. Okay. I wish I had something that let me re get rid of enemies threat. 12, 14, 15. 10 to 15. That's good, right? So I can send Pippin, I can send Rosie, 14 to 15. I guess I fail by one. Sure. Yeah. All right. I'm going to engage a Black Rider because I got to get that threat out of there. I debate if I should engage the crow. I end up playing take no notice so I don't have to. Keeping the crow engaged with me is dangerous because it makes hide tests harder. So I want to engage it and kill it in the same turn. So he's attacking for five. Sam is defending for four. Um, I'm going to play this for free. And so now he's only attacking for four. Four against four. Are you serious? Come on. Come on, you guys watching. You've seen this, right? This has been my shadow every single time. Every single time this has been my shadow. That That's what's killing me. I can't keep enemies out of the staging area. That's insane that I've revealed that card every single time. All right. Uh, another test of will. Great. Um, three resources. I'm just going to get a body out to chump. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know how really how you're supposed to beat this. <laughs> I think you got to get incredibly lucky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Uh, pathless country. So that sucks that that enemy's back up there. It's ten willpower to seventeen threat. I play Secret Paths, Exhaust, the Hobbit Pony, and add Rosie's Boost. Which means I raise my threat by one. Alright. Uh, so if I play this, that puts the crow at 30 plus 4 more. It's 34, so he wouldn't have to come down. So I'm going to engage this. Boost Sam. Draw a card. Come on. Okay, that's good. I just... I need to keep this guy engaged with me. All right. Uh, four against five. That's not good. Um, I'm going to chump. 
Oh, thank God. Okay, so he stays with me. After realizing Sam couldn't take that attack because Rosie wasn't ready, I decided I should have not played that copy of Take No Notice, which means the crow engaged me naturally, and both enemies stay engaged with me. All right, it's time to try to kill these Nazgul, if I can. After a location enter play, exhaust a Hobbit character and shuffle that location back in the encounter deck. That's not really helpful. I figure out that Mary, Farmer Maggot, Rosie, and Halfling Determination can kill a Nazgul, and I decide to commit nine to the quest. Nine. Okay, here's my return enemy to staging area card. Uh, peril hide two. If you have failed a hide test this phase, remove each character you control from the quest. So hide two. That's going to mess up my plans. I can do Frodo's thing. I realize that doing a hide test is really going to screw up my plans, so I decide I'm going to use Frodo's ability to try to get rid of this card for something better. I think I will do Frodo's thing, shuffle that into the deck, and see what I get. All right! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> wait! Oh, wait! That's okay. I can actually just straight up cancel that. All right, good. All right, I am not grabbing another... <laughs> I'm like, I can't take four Nazgul. It's nine willpower to 11 threat, so I decide to play my final copy of Secret Paths to get rid of two threat, meaning I quest even. All right, I'm not going to engage anybody. <sighs> All right, how am I going to do this? Sam's defending for three plus Rosie. Okay, takes no damage. I'm gonna take this one undefended. Yeah. I did not, ah, it's considered, <laughs> that's funny. All right, that does nothing. And then Mary plus Farmer Maggot, well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm going to kill that crow. I realize I made a mistake. I wasn't supposed to use Rosie's ability during the quest phase, and that would have let me kill the Black Rider. So now I'm still stuck with the Black Rider, even though I meant to kill it. Nope. What attachments do I have? Anything good? Just this ancient Matham. Sure. All right, I'm going to play second breakfast. And my topmost attachment was an ancient mathem. Might as well just try to draw cards if I can. All right, now I'm going to be trying to kill these Nazgul's. After looking at all my cards to make sure I'm not missing anything, I send nine to the quest so I can leave enough characters up to kill a Nazgul. I did forget to exhaust Pippin when I exhausted his Hobbit pony. All right, Green Hilled Country. Four, five, five plus eight is 13. So I raise my threat by four. That's okay. One, two, three, four. These guys still don't come down because of Pippin. All right, Sam is defending for three, for five. I really hate that card. Pippin was exhausted, but... You've got to be kidding me. Is this whole deck this shadow? I mean, you've got to be kidding me. All right, what's this one do again? Combat action. Enemies engaged if you do not attack this phase. You cannot declare attacks this phase. All right, whatever. One, two, three, four, five. 
All right, so what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, I guess. Hey, Gildor, how about that? I gain control of Gildor. Okay. It's nine willpower to 17 threat, so I add the Hobbit Pony with Pippin and Rosie's boost, so I fail the quest by four. Planning on playing, take no notice, so they cannot engage all the Nazgul. So, of course, I don't clear that. Um, these guys are because of Pippin at 39s. So I will play one of these so they don't all come down. I'll engage the one that boosts Sam. Draws me a card. There's a fast hitch. That's going to come in handy. Oops. He's going to attack. Um, he's defending for four against five. He's going to die, so I got to play this. Uh, I don't really need to play it for free, so. Old Toby, heal a damage from each hero with a pipe, so I'm going to heal and then draw a card for each pipe you control. Okay, more Ancient Mathem. Now, for the love of God, don't bounce back up and don't get boosted. I don't. If, if he gets boosted, Sam dies. Because right now it's four against five. Uh, hmm. Well, he got boosted. Oh, yeah. Okay, halfling determination. I was thinking I, only, I was thinking this was boosting my attack. Because that's where I was focused. All right, yeah. Thanks. Halfling determination. Good call. Boost Sam's defense. He survives. Thank you. I was so focused on killing this guy that Halfling Determination, in my mind, was just boof boosting attack. Alright, so then I can attack for 1, 2, 6, 8. So, so yeah, that, that 2 would have killed him, and that's where my mind was at. Alright. So then, to keep him in play, I spend a resource, no problem. And we advance. Ah, that's good timing. Okay, I'll be playing that. Fast hitch. Let's see, Rosie can go on the quest and then recommit herself to the quest. And then if a second fast hitch, she could help during combat. Which I feel like is important. So basically, she's the best candidate. Yeah, thanks for that halfling determination call, dude. Jeez, oh, Pete's duh. All right, um, I might as well just play this. I mean, in the off chance that I actually ever clear that location, I'll be able to draw a ton of cards. I think I think I just try to clear this location. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so I'll send 10. Oh, no, yeah, 10 right now, and I'm playing that. So I'm not revealing a card, and I'm just playing it for free. So that's 10, 4, 5, 6, geez, that's not 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I do some math and make sure I send 16 to the quest so I can clear that location. Okay. So I played Gildor's Council. I committed my characters. I committed Rosie twice. I clear this thing. Jeez. Draw six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a lot of cards. All right. I'm going to travel to... This other Green Hill country. Okay, man, this this is this is tough. I didn't think it was gonna be this strenuous. All right, uh, thirty-five to forty-two. They're actually thirty-nine to forty-two. So I'm gonna play my last one of these. 
so I don't engage any of them. Enemies engage you do not attack. No, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to just take the attack. Sam's defending for three. Rosie's boosting him to five. Come on! Please! Okay. Jeez, I needed that. Okay. Um, so I have no one ready except Farmer Maggot. He's attacking for two. He could get boosted up to four. Oh, when I traveled there, I would have put this guy in. Sorry, forgot. I just drew him. So Farmer Maggot can't help kill... that guy but I I had to like somehow get cards out still haven't drawn a second pipe okay and I will spend one of these resources okay I'm just putting a body on the table okay so both of these things are going to engage me this round and there's not much I could do about it except avoid the attack but I am just gonna try to spam the board here okay after you travel to a location spend one spirit resource or age engagement cost of each enemy in play okay um, attached to a hobbit hero right there good I end up exhausting all my hobbits sending 16 willpower to 11 threat I hope to use 11 Z's and Rosie's ability to clear the active location, reduce my threat, and draw a card. Whew. All right, nope. Uh, I think I'm doing Frodo. Spend one, exhaust the ring to cancel effects of your counter card, just reveal from your counter deck, shuffle that card. So I'm going to do that. I do not need a fourth Nazgul. Please don't re reveal it. All right, well. That is kind of how this game is going. I feel like every time I take one step forward, this encounter deck is dragging me five steps back. So I shuffled it and pulled the exact same card. All right. I started to do things to place progress on the active location and then realized because the Nazgul was revealed, I needed to do a hide two test. She would have been ready like, like that. I have to do a hide two. I get plus one, but it's already a one, two, three. Oh, I think I'm super dead because one, two, three, four, five. The last thing I needed, six, was to do a hide test right now. So my whole plan was to get rid of it. When I'm up against six, before I even reveal two cards, I'm not committing anybody. So hide two, so I lost. They all engage me. And they're all gonna attack. So I'm gonna return these two. <laughs> Our old friend shows back up. I'm going to ready Sam. Did I pay for those? I don't think I did. I'll pay for one, two, three. All right. Yep. All right, Sam is defending for five. And Sam dies. So I will play this. I mean, this game is just throwing everything it can at me. So Sam doesn't die. I am not able to use any of my cards when I want to. He's going to defend. This attack is... Cons <laughs> I mean, I can't win, guys. I really tried. I really, really tried. But now I think I have officially lost. If, this, if you have failed to hide test this round, which of course I did. There's no way I could beat it. This attack is considered undefended, so um, that kills a hero. Which, all right, you know what? Fine. Pippin dies. Let's just let's let's finish it out. He dies. Oh no, it's considered undefended. So he still lives, actually. 
Wow. All right, Pippin's dead. That reduces Mary's attack. I mean, at this point, Pippin wasn't doing much except committing two willpower. Rosie could still ready, so Rosie's up. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven to my sixteen. Let me think here. I have these two attacks coming. I can play that though. So Rosie's going to add two more. I'll travel here. How many cards do I got left? Seven. And then I'm going to play this, and they can't attack me. How many of these had the return attacking enemy to the staging area shadows? Well, at least I know this Nazgul isn't coming out. It's kind of why I was doing all the shadows. <laughs> all right. Um, I'll be honest. I don't know how long I've had that Curious Brandy Buck in play, and I wasn't supposed to, but I just cleared that location, so... I can't attack back. I will spend a fellowship resource. Okay. Secrecy three. Engaged enemies with you cannot attack this phase. Well, that seems like good timing. So I'm just I'm trying to quest like crazy right now. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Uh, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Yeah. Peril. Search the encounter deck discard pile. Okay. I'm going to just cancel that. I don't need another Nazgul. So twelve against one is eleven. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Add Rosie one more time. Okay. Do you guys realize what's about to happen? I'm gonna add try not to swear. Fatty. I am still in it, but I'm gonna add fatty and lose. He is a treachery. After realizing I was about to be killed by fatness. I decided to play 11 Z's and one copy of Smoke Rings to reduce my threat and place enough progress to clear the active location. Frustrating because I was hoping to advance the round, but at least I'm not dead. That goes away. I travel there. Okay, I got four attacks coming. I'm going to play that for five. One, two, three, four, five. None of these guys can attack me. So they don't get shadow cards or anything. Now. Let's attack back. I want to kill two of these suckers. Can I do it? This one needs six. These guys suck. One, two, three. That's six. You're dead. One, two, three, four. I can't even damage a second one. Wow. Okay, well, then I spend a resource. I mean, I'm probably going to die in this turn, but I feel like I've... I've played the heck out of this deck. I had to do it that way. I had to drop my threat down because Fatty's going to make it go up by seven. Then the end of the round is going to make it go up by another one. So I had to get my threat down to like 41 at least. I didn't really have a choice. Still no pipe. Man, that, that hurts. 
That hurts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Doom 2, when revealed, starting up the last player, each player must either return a Nazgul enemy engage with him or make... I think I can do that. Yep, I need that other Hobbit sense. You're right. If I add that, Doom 2... Doom 2 hurts. I actually don't mind throwing that back up there. I sent 10. I'm up against 4. Let me. I'm just seeing here. I make 6 progress. 1... That's fine. Okay, so I make six progress. So I advance. Whew, okay. That means I add fatty. I raise my threat by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that means I would have to reduce my threat threat. I gotta think here. So I would have played smoke rings in that phase to give myself one more willpower but also drop my threat by one. Because I dropped my threat the pipe draws me a card. Whew, okay. Because I advance here. I add this to the staging area. And I draw three cards. Yeah, I wasn't going to forget. I just was trying to make sure I didn't thread out. All right, the first player finds a black rider. Why not? Yeah. Actually, you know what? I could have also played 11 Zs and pulled back because I made that extra progress. It might have actually made sense to... Play 11 C's, so I think I'll be okay. What's Fatty do? Exhaust Fatty to choose an enemy in the staging area and raise your threat by that enemy. Yeah, right. Okay, so I definitely can't do Fatty's a, a thing. So I gotta do a hide test. Hide two. Um, my I would have read. I, I I'm I'm out of sorts. I would have readied Rosie before advancing because I knew this was coming. All right, so hide two. There's nothing special, no funky whatevers. Let's see. So hide two. Let's do Rosie for two, three, four, five. Hide two for five seems good. Okay, I pass. All right. When you fail a high test, it engages you. After players make a successful high test, place S X progress on a non-unique location. I can't, but I can travel here because I don't have. Uh, another location so it's the first time I've probably ever tra been able to travel here before uh, another location enters play here's the problem though I'm gonna have four Nazgul attack me four of them I think I have to go there I'm gonna make a hide three Oh, Frodo's intuition might draw me. Jeez, oh, Peach, Chad, wake up. All right. I got you now. I'm going to draw five, four cards. One, two, three, four. Nope. I didn't get lucky, man. I think that's it. I got to try to beat this. I gotta try to beat this hide test. I don't see how I'm gonna do it. One, two, three. Uh, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. They're boosted. Okay, eight. Oh yeah, right. And it was only a tour. All right, well, I made it to Buckleberry Ferry. How about that? Okay, then during the encounter phase, they both come down. I lost Gildor too. Yep. Oh, after I traveled there, he comes in. Uh, so I could defend three of them. And the fourth one. All right. Let's just finish it up. So he's going to defend this one. After this attack, attack the enemy engages the next player. Okay, that's fine. You're dead. Fatty. Uh, that's fine. He's dead. Rosie. Uh, okay, she's dead. And then undefended. Okay. Um... That'll be Mary. All right, so it's just down to Frodo and Sam. If I can make nine progress, unfortunately, this sucks. Losing him. That sucks. All right. Uh, that's fine. Okay, Sam has six resources, so luckily a keen eye took will enter play. Yeah, that's not helpful. Wait. Oh, I just won't reveal a card. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There, I won. I mean, yeah, a lot of people died and stuff, but uh, I won. Holy crap. I think I won. I needed a lot of help. Thank you, Dennison. But I that counts as a win, even though I lost, you know... Rosie and Mary and Pippin and Fatty, but a win's a win, right? This was hard. This was a hard quest. That was a that was a struggle. Yay me! You know what? God dang it! I'm glad I stuck that one out because I for a minute there I was like just getting so mad every freaking time I tried to do something. The encounter deck. Gave me another Nazgul or put it back in the staging area. I'd get a little glimmer of hope and then it was just crushed. Thanks, Dennison. Man, all right. Yeah, Gildor's Council got me out of there. Well, got some of us out of there. I think that was pretty good. I hung in there, man. I kept fighting. I was clawing and, and just reaching that whole time trying to get out of here. There was nothing easy about that. Honestly. If I had had a couple pipes, I think this would have went better because um, I would have really drawn some cards and dropped my threat and uh, boosted my willpower. Wow, that, that's hard. That was hard. Oh, man, thanks for sticking with me through this. <laughs> it was funny. I just like looked and I'm like, wait, I have Gildor's Council. I don't need to reveal a card. Then I, I just kind of prayed to the Lord of the Rings gods that I actually had nine willpower sitting here on the table. I mean, if I had really thought that I could win, there might have been a way I could have saved a resource on Frodo to keep Gildor in. But I just figured I lost. I'm just like, there's no way I can survive this. Uh, the Curious Brandy book kind of saved the day because that would have killed another hero. 
Yeah, wow. Wow! What a crazy game! Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it.